Hi friends, today I'm going to show you how to make your candy corn art project. In your packet you have a picture that looks like this and you have two colors attached to it. You have orange and yellow. We are going to make a candy corn today. All you need are your little fingertips to rip the paper. We're using a different skill today but also building up our fine motor skills and your glue. Okay, so first off, we're going to start by tearing our strips of paper. Okay, use your muscles in those tiny fingers and just rip this apart. It's very easy to do. You might not need all the strips of paper I've sent home, but you can use it for something else. You can practice cutting straight lines if you have extra sheets of paper. So I'm just tearing this apart with my fingers and then we're gonna glue them in just a second. So I started with my orange. I'm gonna move that to the side. Next, I'm gonna grab a couple of yellow sheets of paper and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna use my fingers and I'm gonna tear the yellow apart, just like this. <clears throat> Very easy to do, we're just ripping. So now I have a, some yellow and orange construction paper that's cut in half using my fingers. Now when I think about candy corn, I'm thinking of something really, really yummy for my tummy. Now, I went to the market yesterday and I bought candy corn. <gasps> Take a look at my candy corn. What color do I need to start at the top? White, that's right, white. Now, since my paper's already white, I don't need to do anything there at the top. Just leave it white. What about the color in the middle? What color do you see? Orange. So we're gonna use our orange color and we are going to put some glue right here in the middle. Let's just cover it all up with glue. And we are going to just put it all over. It doesn't have to be perfect. You're just gonna cover that middle section of your candy corn up with orange paper. Keep covering it up till you don't see any more white in the middle. I'm doing this quickly because my glue will dry if I don't do it fast. I love candy corn. It's one of my favorite candies to eat during Halloween. It's so sweet and yummy. I'm going to add a little bit more glue here. I also like eating those orange pumpkins too. A lot of people don't like them, but I do. Yep, I have to rip some more because I ran out. So I just picked up another sheet of paper and I've added that to the middle of my candy corn. So I'm going to show you my candy corn again. We're going to take a look at that color. What color do you see at the bottom? Yellow, it's yellow. So we're gonna take our yellow and we are gonna add our glue first to the bottom of our candy corn. And you're just gonna do the same thing you did with your orange. You're just gonna stick it until you cover it completely. All of it. What's your favorite kind of candy to eat during Halloween? Hmm, I said mine was um, candy corn. I also love to eat Kit Kats. Those are my favorite chocolate and almond joys. I love almond joys. Those are my favorite. I have a sweet tooth, I'll be honest. I love candy, 
just like the kids. <laughs> Ta-da! I have my candy corn. And you know what's really cool about this too? When you're done, you can cut it out with scissors. So I'm going to cut it out. And you can use this as a cute decoration for your room. Or you can paste it on your window. Not paste it. You can tape it onto your window. So you have a nice decoration at home. It's really easy to do. You can cut it out just like that. And you have your candy corn. Do they look the same? They do, don't they? I have a small piece of candy corn that I can eat and a large candy corn that I can put on my wall or I can put it on my window. You can use tape and hang it on your wall in your bedroom, wherever you would like to put it. All right, I hope you have fun making it. Remember, use those fingers to rip, rip, rip. Remember, we're working on developing those fingers. Good job, my friends. I can't wait to see your project. Bye-bye.